hello guys welcome back to see fashion academy today i'll be teaching us how to properly draft a corset bustier that is how to cut and sew a corset bustier i'll also be teaching us how to draft the yoke and also be teaching us how to sew the corset bustier with a what a breast cup then finally i'll be teaching us how to um add boning to it so if you really want to catch up with all these things please make sure you watch this video to the end and make sure you click on the like button if you are new make sure you subscribe thank you Okay guys, today I'll be teaching us how to um, cut and sew a corset bustier using a what? A breast pad. As you can see, this is the original breast pad. So for this person I'll be making um, corset bustier for, this is breast pad of what? Size 36 inches. So for the person I'm making this particular um, um, bustier for is what? Bust of what? 35 inches. So I'm making it of the what? The 36. So if your bust is also 34 inches, you can also make it of this what? Um, breast pad what? 36 inches. So you can actually go and get your own. So before we start, first of all, we have our measurement. As you can see, we have all our measurements here. But before we start cutting, we first of all do one thing first, which is what? To fold our fabric. Okay. But first of all, please, I want you to know that I'll be cutting with what? My pattern paper. Please, it is advisable for you to actually cut with your what? pattern paper so that after you finish cutting you cannot place it on your material and do what cut thereby adding allowance on every side okay so for us to fold we fold with the what highest circumference now in this case our hair circumference is the what the round boss so like i said the round boss which is what 35 inches divided by 4 is what 8 3 quarter plus extra 7 inches allowance which is going to be what 15 3 quarter please i want you to know that this 7 inches is for what for all our allowance both for the dart and for the what body allowance okay so since we have what 15 3 quarters so that is how you do what you fold please i'm teaching us this thing so that we know how to manage our what pattern paper or our material okay that is the first stage so the second stage is to do what mark out our measurement points now in this case our measurement points are what from shoulder to the what bust line do you understand now in this case from shoulder to the bust line which you can see here is what 10 inches are you seeing it then we still have our what from shoulder to the what under bust line which what you can see here is what 13 inches please take your rule and do what connect in order to form the what under bust length so the next is what the half length that is from shoulder to the what around the what waist region you understand since we are making a crop top so this is where it will stop it the half length so take your rule and do what so take your rule and do what connect in order to form the what half length like I said, the half length is what 16 inches. And we still have our what extra 2 inches allowance, as you can see. Please, it is not mandatory for you to add this 2 inches allowance. You can also add what 1 inch allowance, depending on how you do what, how you sew. Okay. Okay, guys, as you can see, we have our what. This one is called the what? The bust length. Okay? The bust length. This one is called the what? The under bust length. This one is called the what? The half length. And this one is what? The allowance for the what? The hemming. Please, I want you to know that I've made so many videos on this particular corset bustier. But today I'll be using a very different method. And this different method, I promise you guys, is going to be what? Very easy and like detailed. Okay. So the next thing we'll be doing is to do what? We'll be um, marking out our what? Boss pan. What we call the boss pan, it can also be called what? The nipple to nipple. That is the distance from the left nipple to the right nipple, vice versa, from the right to the what? Left. Now, for a bust of 35, the nipple to nipple or the boss pan is supposed to be what? 7 inches. So, what are we going to do? Since we are folding our material into two, we used to do what? Divide the 7 into two, which we no, is to divide the 7 inch into two shape, which is going to give us what? 3 and a half. Now, mark out your 3 and a half, but please, I want you to do something. Don't just mark out the three and a half, add extra half to it, the same allowance. Do you understand? Making it what? Four inches. Okay. So look at it. Mark out your what? Four inches from the bust line down to the what? Half length. So after you are done, next thing you are going to do is to do what? Take your rule and do what? Connect in order to form a straight line. Okay. So guys, um, I want to let us know something. Since I'll be making this corset bustier, please, I want you to know that I'll also be teaching us how to do what? Um, mark out and cut out the what? The yoke at the same time. Do you understand? So, I've also been doing that here. So, in order to do that, if for those that really want to do what? Add the yoke to it. All we are going to be doing is what? We are going to be marking out our what? Shoulder. Just like as we do our normal what? Bodies. Do you understand? So, our shoulder is what? 14 inches. Which is what? 14 divided by 2. 
since we are folding our material into two, is what? Seven inches. So mark out your seven inches. Please also make sure you add extra what to it, half inch to it. This next thing I want you to do is what? Still take the same measurements down. Now, for those of us that will ask me, down to where? Please to know where, just exactly above this particular bust line. Do you understand? The essence of this thing I'm marking now is to make sure I get a what? A straight line and nothing else. You understand? Okay, so next thing we are going to be doing is what? I'm going to be connecting from here down to this very place. Because I want you to know that this thing, this at, at this point, this thing is ending. It's at nowhere. Do you understand? I just want to connect a straight line. That is the essence of marking it out like this. So next thing we are still going to do is now is what? We are going to be marking out our what? Shoulder slope. What we call shoulder slope. As we all know that nobody's shoulder is what? Straight. Every shoulder is what? Slanted. So in order to cut out the shoulder slope, how do we get it? First of all, we use, uh, we mark out what I call the word, the standard neck width. Now, the standard neck width is what? Three inches. Do you understand? Okay. So, next thing we are going to be doing is what? On this line, we are going to be stepping down by what? Half inch or one inch, depending on the person's what? Kind of shoulder. Do you understand? We are going to be stepping down with what? Half inch or one inch. But for the sake of this particular tutorial, I'll be making use of what? One inch. Okay, so since we have this point and this point, it's now time for us to do what? Mark out our what? shoulder slope. So all you have to do is to do what? Place your rule and do what? Connect. As you can see, we are done marking out our what? Shoulder slope. So next thing we are going to be doing now is to do what? We are going to be marking out our what? Armhole. So in order to mark out our armhole, all we are going to be doing is what? From here, step down with what? Please, I want, to, I want to give us this particular method of uh, marking out our what? Armhole net. It is just a very simple method, which is what? Whatever you use here, are you seeing it? The shoulder is what? 14 divided by 2, which is what? 7 inches. Are you seeing it? Please use exactly the same thing here. Do you understand? If you like, you can add the extra half inch to it, making it what? 7 and a half. This one is what? A matter of what? Choice. Okay. Now, I'm going to be using what? seven inches allowance seven inches are you seeing it okay so at these seven inches please what i'll be doing is what i'll be taking my rule to do what rule straight down like this please i want to i want us to know that i'm trying to do what construct our what armhole as we all know that for you to construct an armhole we need the what the vertical and the horizontal line okay so the next thing now we are going to do is what i'm going to be what marking out the what the armhole curve so in order to mark out the armhole curve, I have the simplest method and well-defined method, which is what? From this particular point, are you seeing it? Where the horizontal and the vertical line are meeting. Please make sure you do what? Place your tape like this and diagonally mark out what? One inch. Okay, so as you now mark that one inch, all you are going to be doing is what? You are going to be connecting from the middle part. Please, I want you to see something. From here to here is what? Seven inches. Are you seeing it? Okay, divide it by two, which will be getting what? three and a half so from this middle part make sure you do what connect to this part are you seeing it then finally connect down to here and we've actually done what marked out our ambo curve okay so there's another thing i want to let us know is that there's something we call the what ambo effect is this ambo effect we put it on every dress so as to make sure that especially fitted dress dresses that are closer to the body in order to observe what, to make sure that our clothes around that armhole region is not what, puffing or is not rumpling excessively. Do you understand? So, in order to avoid those excess rumpling at the armhole region, we apply this armhole effect. So, what is this armhole? How do we apply it? We apply it by, as you can see, from this middle part, are you seeing it? Next thing you are going to be doing is what? You are going to be stepping back by what? Half inch or three quarter inch. Please, half inch or what? Three quarter inch, depending on how you want the ambo effect to appear. So, for the sake of this particular tutorial, the make is of what? Three quarter inch. So, now that I've gotten this point, next thing I'll be doing is what? As you can see, we have this point, we have this point, and we have this point. Next thing I'll be doing is what? I'll be connecting from here down to here. Now, look at it. If you can make use of your what? Curve sets, your different curve sets. Or you can also make use of your word freehand, like as I make use of my word freehand. So I want you to know something extra. Please, this armhole effect only applies what we only apply it what in front. Why at the back we make use of our original word armhole? Do you understand? Okay, armhole effect is only what in front, not at the back. Okay. So next thing we're doing is what we're marking out our neck. The choose the, the as in the choice of the neck you want to use on your word corset bustier yoke. So in order for us to mark it out. 
please, as you guys can see, from here to here, we use what? Three inches. Please, whenever I'm using these three inches to mark out my what? Shoulder slope. Please, it doesn't mean that the neck of the dress is what? Three inches. This is just the what? The standard neck width that I use to mark out the what? The shoulder slope. So, in order to get the standard, uh, in order to get the original neck that I want, neck width that I want to use on this particular dress, please, it is on your own. You Like, you choose on your own. So, now what I'll be using is what? Four inches. As you can see, now mark it out from here. Next thing you are going to be doing is what? Take your rule and do what? Connect. Rule it down like this. Okay. Then the depth of the neck, which I'm going to be marking out, is what? Three and a half. So I'll also be making use of my what? Rule and be connected. Now, as you can see, I've actually formed this neck block. Are you seeing it? So, in order to get our neck now, please, I'll be making use of a what? A canoe neck. Whenever you want to make is whenever you want to cover out a canoe neck, please I advise you use what from one and a half diagonally like this or two inches. Please, from one and a half to what two inches diagonally like this. Now look at what I mean. Diagonally like this, mark out what one and a half or two inches. Okay, when you mark it out, next thing you are going to be doing is what you are going to be connecting from here to here down down to this particular place. So let's connect it. Okay, as you can see, we've actually formed the word the neck. Okay, so next thing we'll be doing now is to do what construct our word corset bust here. But before we construct our corset bust here, we need to mark out our word what we call the word the upper bust line or the word chest line. Please, I want us to know that it's as simple as ABC. The upper bust line or the chest line is at this point, this ambo line. Are you seeing it? Remember, your ambo stop is where the word the upper chest line is. Okay, so let's mark it out. Just place your rule like this and do what mark it out. Are you seeing it? Okay, now that I've marked it out, next thing I'll be doing is what? I'll be doing what? Making sure that this line extends down to this particular point. This our boss span line. I'll be making sure it extends to this particular point. Okay, so the next step is what? We are going to be repeating what I got. Please remember, this particular one I did here is for the what? The yoke. For those that want to do what? Put yoke on their what? Corset bust here. Do you understand? So what I'm actually doing here now is what? The two part of the what? Corset bust here. So now, let's say you're making your two cost here, um, corset bust here. Please, I want you to know something. From here, measure out what? One and a half or two inches, depending. You can also, it can even be what? One inch. But for the sake of this tutorial, I'll be making use of what? One and a half. Okay. Now, some of us will be asking me, what is this point for? If this point is like, let's say, if you're wearing a corset bust here, around that your cleavage side, how deep you want the cleavage side to enter? Do you understand? That is this point you are actually seeing here. Do you understand? So if you want your cleavage point to be closed more, you need to be going up. Do you understand? So if you want it to open, you need to be doing what? Going down. Do you understand? Okay, so that is this point. So on this particular point, I will now have to do what? From here, I will now have to step back with what? Half inch or what? Three quarter inch. Now look at it. From here, I have to do what? Step back with what? Half inch or three quarter inch. Now as you can see, from here to here, this is the See, when you wear your corset bust here, you see that opening that you see at the center that differentiate the left bust here and the, the right bust here? It is this point. That is what I use, what? Half inch. So that when you expand it, it will now be, what? One inch differentiating the, the left bust here from the, what? The right bust here. Please, we are going to be marking this thing as a guide. Please. And like I told you, this method is very, very simple. We are going to be marking it as a guide. Take your rule. You, in fact, you can even make use of a what? A dotted line or a normal line. Whichever one you want to make use of. Are you seeing it? Take it to the what? Underbust line. Okay. So at the end of this, you can see we have from here down to the what? Underbust line. So the next thing we are going to be doing now, we are going to be adding the what? The dart. It is the dart that literally forms the what? The bust here itself. Do you understand? So in order to add the dart, we start from the what? Underbust. Remember what I told you guys? In order to make a cup or a bust here, that we, that we have this upper and what the lower that so we'll be adding the words the lower that which is at the word the under bust so the that we'll be using is what one inch are you seeing it from this um from this center line are you seeing it mark out what one inch here mark out what one inch here which is total of what two inches please some of us will still ask me is this one inch uh, fixed please I, I would like to tell you that it's not fixed it's dependent on what how busty the word the person is you understand? But for the sake of this tutorial, I'll be making use of what? One, one inch, making it what? Two inches. This next thing I want you to do is what? Take it up the same. Are you seeing it? One inch here. Are you seeing it? One inch here. The same thing, please just take it down like this. Are you seeing it? Just do it on all the words, lines. Are you seeing it? One inch here. 
one inch here. Okay, so now we've done this. Next thing we are going to be doing is what? We are going to be marking from under boss. Are you seeing it? Down to this particular point. Are you seeing it? Straight line. Then next, we are also going to be marking this point from here down to this particular point. Okay, so after marking out all this, after um, connecting these ones, as you can see, is I want you to know that, like I said, from here to here that we used one, we used one here, it is not what fixed, depending on the what, the, um, the bust, how busty the person is. Do you understand? Depending on how busty the person is. So, let's say, okay, let me just give out this guide. Let's say for a bust of from 32 to what, 40. We, you guys should use what? Two inches. Do you understand? That is what? One inch on this side and one inch on this side. Then from 41 and above, should be using what? Three inches. That is what? One and a half inch here and one and a half inch here. Do you understand? Okay. So next thing we'll be doing now is what? We'll be forming our what? Corset curve. Do you understand? The bust here itself. So look at it. Please, I want you to make use of your what? Your curves. We have different kinds of curves. We have French curve, freehand, anything. So now I'll be making use of my what? I'll be making of my what broomstick. So in order to connect it, as you can see, look at it from here. Are you seeing it? Connect to this side with your curve, then back to this side. Are you seeing it? So now let's do the connection. From here, connect down to this particular side. Are you seeing it? Okay. Now after you finish connecting it, next thing you are still going to be doing is what? Connect from here down to this particular side. Are you seeing it? But please, if you still want your um, corset to go up more, all you need to do is to do what? Elongate from this particular side. But for the sake of this tutorial, I'll be leaving it at this particular point. Now look at it from here down to this particular point. Are you seeing it? Okay, let's connect it. So you can see from this point down to this particular point. Are you seeing it? So in order to complete this particular side of the bust here, there's something I'm going to be doing now. You still remember our word, that. Are you seeing it? So I'm going to be doing what? I'm going to be connecting the word, the that itself. Now look at it. Still make use of your word, broomstick to connect the word, the that. As you can see, the broomstick can do wonders. Okay, place it very well and connect your word, that. As you can see, I've actually connected the dots. So we are going to be doing almost the same thing to this particular side. Are you seeing it? So in order to complete this particular side, all we are going to be doing is what? Please, whatever you have here, what do we have here? Four inches. Are you seeing it? Or you can as well use whatever you have here, which is what? Three inches. Add extra like what? Half to what? One inch to it, which is almost the same thing as what? The four inches. So from here, we are going to be extending with what? The four. Please, I would like to let you know something. If you still want, because this side, this part of the um, bust here carries more of the what? The bust. Hope we all know that. This part of the bust here, the side bust here, carries much part of the bust. Why the center does not carry much? Do you understand? So, all you are going to be doing is what? In order to observe that, you can also do what? Add extra what to it. Extra half inch to it. Are you seeing it? Okay. So, we now have what? This point. So, we are still going to do the same thing. Are you seeing it? From here down to this particular point. Now, let's do that. Are you seeing it? Connect it. Make use of your broomstick very well. Connect it like this. Okay. Are you seeing it that we have connected it? So next thing we are going to be doing is what? Please gently connect this one like this. Are you seeing it? A kind of straight, but not actually straight. Are you seeing it? Connect it like this. So now, remaining the upper part. Okay, guys. Next we'll be doing is what? We'll be connecting here. We can also make use of our what? Broomstick. But as you can see, connect from here. Are you seeing it? down to this particular point. Now look at it very well. Are you seeing it? There's a reason why I'm connecting it down to this particular point. So as you can see this particular that area, are you seeing it? So we are still going to do what? Connect the what? That to finish this particular point. Okay, so as you can see, we have finished constructing it. Please remember what I told you. If you feel this place is lower, do you understand? If you feel that it's going to do what? Show part of your body. All you have to do is to do what? From here, are you seeing it? Step up with what? One inch. Are you seeing it? When you step up with one inch, you will now do what? Complete this particular curve. Just the same way we did initially. Are you seeing it? From here down to 
this particular point. Are you seeing it? Please, if you think that will see, remember what I said. The first time we did it, I left it here because that's where me, I purposely want to leave it. Do you understand? But looking at it now, it's not kind of giving us that shape that most people usually look out for. Do you understand? So for the sake of this particular tutorial, I will say, let's just extend our own upward. Do you understand? So that's why I'm extending it with what? One inch. So now this one inch is more like we are also extending our what? Look at it. We are also extending our what? That. Are you seeing it? The same thing as what? Extending our that. Okay, but please, if you still want to leave yours here, you can as well do that. Do you understand? Okay, as you can see, we are done constructing the what the corset bust here. So the only thing remaining now is to do what to impute the what the body measurement. Okay, so in order to impute the body measurement, look at it very well now. In order to impute the body measurement, the round bust is what. Okay, okay, let's start from the under bust. The round under bust is what twenty nine inches. Twenty nine inches divided by four is going to be giving us what. Seven one quarter. Seven one quarter. Okay, seven one quarter. Okay, let's mark out seven one quarter. Are you seeing it? Now, next thing you are going to be doing is what? Mark. See, we have extra what two inches here for our what that impute that two inches for our that. Then you can then do what add your extra what body allowance. So let's add what two inches body allowance or three inches depending on what you want to use. But for the sake of this particular tutorial, since we make use of pattern paper which we can still end up adding more extra allowance on our own fabric. Do you understand? So let me add what? Two inches. Are you seeing it? So please do the same thing at this particular point. Are you seeing it? And mark it. Do the same thing at this particular point and then mark it. Do you understand? Okay. So next thing we are going to be doing now is that we are going to be imputing our word the bust circumference. So let's impute the bust circumference. The bust circumference is what? 35. Okay. 35 divided by is what? Eight three quarter. Okay, so mark out your what? Eight three quarter. Are you seeing it? So please, I want you guys to kind of add extra one inch to this particular thing for the what? The datting. So when we add extra one inch, next thing we are going to be doing is what? Add your extra what? Two inches allowance. Are you seeing it? So we now please make sure you extend this particular one. Then you do what? Connect. Are you seeing it? So we've actually done what? We've actually formed our what? Corset. So next thing we'll be doing now is what? We'll be doing what? Cutting it out. But we are not going to cut in full. We are not going to cut it in pieces because I have this simple method that I'll be using the front immediately to do what? Trace out the what? The back. Okay, so let's cut it out. So as you can see, I'm not going to pieces it now. You understand? I'm going to use it directly to do what? To cut the back. So Okay, guys, after you finish uh, cutting this one out, as you can see, it's first cutting. Next thing you need to do is to do what? Use the front to do what? Um, get the what? The back. So, first thing you need to do is what? Fold the back just like the same way you folded for your front. Okay, now mark out your what? Two inches allowance. This is for those that want to be using what? Zip. You understand? So, mark out your what? Two inches allowance. Please, if you are not making use of zip, if you are making use of or lacing, if you are lacing the back, Please, I want you to do what? Neglect the what? The two inches. Rather, you have to do what? Subtract what? Two inches. Okay. But for the sake of this tutorial, we are making use of what? Zip. Okay. So, next thing you need to do is to do what? After you finish marking it out, place it like this. Are you saying it? Please take your pin and hold it so that it will not shift while you are doing what? Tracing all these what? Lines. Okay, guys. So, after that, next thing you are going to be doing is what? You are going to be marking out this point. Are you saying it? You are going to be marking out this point. This point you are marking out. After we finish marking it out, we are going to be removing this particular front one. Are you seeing it? Now, mark it out. Please, as you're marking it, make sure that it's kind of entering inside. Are you seeing it? Make sure that it is entering inside. Don't just mark it out like that. We are going to be connecting all these points. Okay, see, also mark out this particular point. Are you seeing it? Mark out this particular point also. Mark it out also. Okay. So after you are done marking it out, next thing you are going to be doing for now is to do what? Let's cut it out. Let's what cut it out using the word, this particular sh shape of the word, the front. Please remember, this is the reason why I say uh, when we are marking it out, we should do what? Enter inside. Because we are will be cutting out the word, the outer part. 
Now, as you are cutting it out, please, I want you to make sure that you follow this particular one. Remember what I told you? I'm holding fence. It's only applied words in front, not at the back. Okay. Now, your back neck depends on the kind of back neck you actually want. Do you understand? If you want this same back neck, like a canoe neck, if you want this same back neck, like a canoe neck, all you have to do is to do what? Follow this same one exactly. That is for those that are making use of what? Yoke. Okay, as you guys can see, I'm done. Next thing I'll be doing is what? I'll be removing the what? The pins. Okay, after I'm done removing the pins, next thing I'll be doing is what? I'll be taking my rule to do what? Connect all these points. Okay, as you guys can see, next thing that is remaining is what? The that. The that. That is what? The boss pan. As you guys can see, Boss band is what? 4 inches. Let's mark it out so as to get a what? A straight line. Okay. Now, we are almost done. Now, next thing we are going to be doing is what? Now, as you guys can see, this particular is not compulsory. You use the same that you used in front for the back. Do you understand? So, you can use half inch or three quarter inch for your what? Back. Because it is what? Back. Okay. But for the sake of this tutorial, I'll be making use of what? Three quarter inch. From here, three quarter. Then, from here, three quarter. Is just do the same thing all the way here. Are you seeing it? Do the same thing all the way from here, three quarter. From here, also do what three quarter. Okay, see, as you guys can see, here is the one the boss point. Are you seeing it? So, do this same thing on the under boss, the what half length and the what the allowance. So, next thing you are going to be doing is what take your rule and connect from here to here, then from here to here. Next thing you're also going to do, as you guys can see, here is the what the chest line. Are you seeing the same thing as the word, the arm hole line? Please, make sure you do what? Connect this one from here. Are you seeing it? To here. And from here down to here. Are you seeing it? Now, as you guys can see, we are actually done cutting at the back. So, next thing we need to do is to do what? Take our scissors and do what? Open up this particular part. Open up this particular part. Are you seeing it? Okay. Now, there's something I want to, I want us to do on this particular back, but first of all, let's cut out the word the front. Okay, now we are done tracing at the back. Let's properly cut out the word the front. So in order to cut out the front, see how we are going to be cutting it out. First of all, remove your word yoke. Remember what I said. If you are making two, this is the time for you to know how to make it. Now look at it. From here, first of all, remove the word. Okay, as you guys can see, this is actually the word, the yoke. When you expand it, you get the word, the yoke of the corset. So if you are making two without yoke, that means you have to do what? Discard this particular one and cut out this particular one. Do you understand? Or if you are putting stripe on it. Okay, but if you are putting a yoke, whether with your two, um, that is your net and the rest, you have to make use of this one. Take it and place on your material and do what? Trace out. Adding what? Half inch at the word, the damn part of it. So after we are done cutting it out, Let's continue with our work. cutting. So as you guys can see, I'm done cutting it off. Are you seeing it? I'm done cutting it off. Okay. Now this is the bag. Remember, okay, let me place the word. The yoke. Are you seeing the yoke? Okay. Now, we also need to do what? Cut out the yoke for the word. The back. We also need to do what? Cut out the yoke for the back. Okay, in order to cut out the yoke, as you can see, the front started from here. That means the back is also going to start from here. Do you understand? So that both of them will match. Now, you now need to decide your back. Are you going to leave it straight? Or are you going to have also a design at the back? Do you understand? You are going to decide whether the back, are you going to leave it? Remember what I said, since the front started from here, that means the back will also start from here. Are you seeing it? So now, like I said, you decide, are you going to leave your back just straight like this? Are you going to give this kind of design? Are you seeing it? Or are you going to give this kind of, look at it. Are you going to give this kind of slant design? Do you understand? It's all on you to choose which one you are actually going to do. But for the sake of this particular tutorial, the one I'll be doing is just, now look at it. From here, are you seeing it? I'll be stepping down with what? One inch. Are you seeing it? So I'll be joining from here, look at it, to this particular point with the word one inch. Are you seeing it? So I will now be cutting out the words, the yoke for the back. Okay. 
Okay guys, as you can see, this is the front part. Now this is the back part. Please, there's something I would really want to tell you. Here is by choice for the back. If you really want to cut out the what, the that, you can as well do that. But if you still want, you can still choose not to do what. Cut it off, rather do what, sew it out. But for me, for the sake of this tutorial, I'll be doing what? Cutting it out. Okay guys, as you can see, we are done cutting it out. As you can see, it's as simple as that. So for those that want to put yoke on their own, this is actually your what? Yoke. For those that want to use tube or want to use stripe on it, this is actually the one you have you want coupling. So in order for us to couple this, please, I want you to know something. After this stage, next stage we'll be entering is what we'll be place, taking this thing and be placing our what? Material that we want. Do you understand? When you place it on the material, you are going to be doing what? Marking out half inch all round at every side. Do you understand? That's what we'll be doing. Marking out half inch at every side. So I'll be showing us how to do that particular one. This is the time to actually cut it on our fabric. So how do you cut it? As you can see, the way you cut it is well. Make sure you place it on your fabric. As you can see, I placed it. So it's, I'm kind of managing my material. That's why you are seeing it bending in different ways. So next thing you are going to be doing is what? Take your chalk and make sure you mark out what half inch on all sides. Make sure you mark out what half inch on all sides. As you can see, this is it. Make sure you mark out half inch on all sides everywhere. Mark out what half inch. So at this point, as you can see, okay, let me put half inch here. It is not compulsory for you to also put extra half inch here. Do you understand? Because we've already added what extra two inches allowance. Do you understand? So, but for the sake of this tutorial, let's just add half inch everywhere. Do you understand? So add half inch here. Are you seeing it? So at the end of the game, you are going to be cutting it off. Please make sure you cut very well. Make sure you don't make mistakes while cutting. Make sure you are precise. As you guys can see, I'm done cutting this one out. So this is the same method you cut other ones. Are you seeing it? This is the same method you use to cut other ones. Okay, let's cut this particular one. Cut half inch. But please, there's something I really want you to do. Before you even start cutting all this, please make sure you label this thing. If not, for you not to make a mistake, it is very, very important. As you guys can see, this one now, we call it what? This one is in front. See, look at it. Are you seeing it? We call it what? Front down. Are you seeing it? It is for the front. This is the down part. We call here what? Front what? Up. Are you seeing Any name you want to give to it. Then we call this particular one now what? Front down side. Okay. Anything you want to label it with, please. Doesn't really matter. Why this one is what? The front up side. Do you understand? Anything you want to label it with that will make you to remember. So you guys can see. Why I say this one is the front down is because this is the front part and this is the down part. Are you seeing it? Why this one is the front part and the, what, the upper part? So just the same thing. This one is the what? The center generally. Do you understand? Why this one is the what? The side. So make sure you label it. Then you now continue with your what? Cutting it out. So let's do the same thing to this particular one. So that is exactly what we do on all sides. Thank you guys for watching. Please, if you find this video very interesting and you wish to watch the part two, how to um do the stitching everything how to put the padding and how to put the bone in please make sure you give us a thumbs up make sure you click on the like button just show appreciation thank you and if you're new to this channel please make sure you click on that subscribe button it is free of charge click on it so that whenever we post video you'll be the first to be notified so please finally make sure you watch the part two you check it in the description link you see the link there now click on it and make sure you watch the part two because i actually did everything in detail this time around. Thank you and may God bless you.